I keep hearing from people that pot is some kind of like magical cure-all. Are they right? Or are they just high? Hey everybody, Trace here for DNews. Some of you out there undoubtedly smoke the ganj because we read our comments so we kind of know this. So just to start this out on the right foot here, marijuana does a lot of things, but preventing cancer is not one. With regard to breast and brain cancer, certain compounds in the plant can stop or lessen the spread of the cells of the disease, but preventing cancer? <laughs> nah, man. The cannabis plant has been used since ancient times for rituals, rope making, and medical treatments for dozens of things, from cholera, epilepsy, sexual dysfunction, vomiting, insomnia, bronchitis, asthma, whooping cough. When it comes to marijuana as medicine, we're really talking about those compounds inside the plant, mainly cannabinoids and THC. Cannabinoids are varied depending on the plant species, and THC is pretty omnipresent. However, there are so many cannabinoids that are untested and so many differing combinations and concentrations depending on the plant species, the testing them is a huge undertaking. So far, the American Cancer Society, the NIH, and the National Academies of Science and a bunch of others have performed extensive research with marijuana doing almost every type of ingestion from vapor to pills to smoking it to IV. They've confirmed that these compounds can help with sleep, that they can increase appetite and help mediate chronic pain and even help people manage anxiety. I say chronic pain because studies have shown that there is no help at all for headaches or other minor pains. When it comes to a lot of the publicized effects of marijuana curing things, many of those are overblown or just simply anecdotal. Like there are some studies that show marijuana smoking doesn't hurt your lungs as much as cigarette smoking, and then there are others that say the complete opposite and that marijuana is worse. So it's hard to know who to trust. There is evidence that ingesting marijuana extracts can help in some good ways. A recent study was released claiming THC can help put Crohn's disease on a path to remission. Though, like a lot of other studies, the sample size is super tiny at only like 21 people. So you can't generalize that to a population. Another new study shows that marijuana can actually help relieve the pain of social exclusion, helping people manage the emotional pain of loneliness. However, it's not really treating the underlying condition, it's just treating the effects of that condition. While it's tough to say scientifically that marijuana as a whole can or cannot do something, cannabinoids are already being used in some prescription drugs. With many believing legalization is on the horizon, it's more important than ever to keep testing these compounds' effects. But without larger sample sizes, the American Cancer Society admits it's hard to know anything for certain. How are you on legalization? Are you for it? Are you against it? Are there conditions that we should have legalization or are we just for all weed all the time? Subscribe to DNews for two videos every day and let us know your feelings in our comments section. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. I'm Trace. Catch you later.